Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this quick collection showcase video I'm going to be sharing with you some of my Voyager class Optimus Prime figures from the Revenge of the Fallen movie. So some of these may not look familiar to you and that is because in all honesty these three around here are all indeed KOs of this original figure right here. So this is the figure that most people will probably know. There was another deco of this that was officially released. Um, I don't actually have it funnily enough um, but yeah i thought now would be a good ideal opportunity especially as i've been asked by some of my followers on instagram uh, to share these with you so i have had these pretty much hidden away and in honesty pretty much forgot about them um but there's some lovely translucent plastic there with some lovely gold chrome other reason as well as i've got no intention of opening these so i'm just going to show you these in the beautiful state that they're in um you've got all the same pretty much artwork and pictures all on it the only difference is of course the figure inside this one again is all translucent apart from the fact they're using silver chrome and again it just makes the figure i think look really really good my favorite one though which i'm saving till last is this one i love the deco on this i think it looks really really good it's got the gold chrome it's got the flame effects it's got a completely different colour scheme. It's got a translucent red window. It's just completely out there. So, you know, some KOs that you can find if they look like this. Uh, well, again, it's, anybody, it's up to anybody's choice what they want to collect. I've literally got friends in the Transformers community who now solely do look out for and collect KO figures. And some of the prices that they get and they range from is, is insane. You wouldn't believe it. Like... Dino King, the Japanese G1 figure, the KOs of them are going for $500, never mind the original. So um, it can be quite interesting. And, you know, if you do see a rare oddity out there, more so an oddity than a, than a direct KO of a figure, this is just my opinion. Of course, it doesn't really mean or count for anything. If it's a KO of a figure that, you know, that you've already got or it's exactly the same, obviously it's not as interesting as something like these if it's a ko of something that looks completely different it still might be worth picking up especially if you can get it at a bargain price because there's always going to be collectors out there who like their variants and who want to display something slightly different there you go guys anyway just wanted to share them with you thanks for watching take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe